Hello everyone, this is Video Boy, and welcome to the GDX 2D tutorial part 8. So, uh, last tutorial, sorry about that, but uh, there was, it was kind of low quality. It's because I was streaming just before and I forgot to turn the resolution back up. So sorry about that, but we should actually be back in 1080p. The last video said that it was 1080p, but really it was 720p and I just scaled it up when I was editing. I only noticed after I uploaded that I actually did that. Um, so yeah, should be back in 1080p for real now. And um, so today's episode, it's more about um, actually making the rolling more smooth. So I'll show you guys what we have so far. So the rolling is pretty cool, but it doesn't really feel natural. You kind of roll and then it stops. Well, if I'm not mistaken, most arcade games in the past once you stopped r moving, it would roll back into the center position like this. So we're going to adjust the game so that the rolling is just a little bit more uh, more like a like an old arcade game. And then in episodes later on, we'll start adding bullets and things like that. So let's do that. Uh, it's not too difficult. This video should be rather short. And also, I'd just like to mention, um, it's really hot, so I have my window open. Uh, you might hear some wind and birds and stuff. I know my last tutorial, you probably heard birds also. Uh, not the last tutorial, the devlog. Uh, so, yeah. I uh, hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. Alright, so let's get into it. So last episode, we added the update roll. So that the roll is updated. Um, so basically, what we need to do this episode is... Uh, we need to add an else for these things and I'll explain why in a minute yeah so what we need to do is we need to check if the roll okay so I'll explain a little bit when this is clicked when this button is clicked the left arrow key we want uh, the ship to move to the left, right? And we want to roll the ship. But if it's not being clicked, so else, if the left arrow key isn't being clicked, but the roll is still left, then we want it to go right. So how do we check if the roll is still to the left? Well, we check if roll is less than two. So if you guys remember, when roll is two, it's when there's no tilt, it's when it's in the center. So if it's less than two, it means it's either zero, uh, zero or one, which means it's to the left. So if roll is less than two, then we want to update the roll, but in reverse. So we can actually just copy this code here from the right code and put it there. So just like before, it would update the roll timer um, and then it would check if the roll timer is uh, high enough, so then it switches, and then it'll add, and it'll make sure it's not more than four, so you don't get a out of bounds error in the array. That's basically it. And now we pretty much do the same on the other side. So if roll is more than two this time, so if it's to the right, then we want to update the roll to the left. All right, let's see how that works. All right, yeah, that looks good. That was pretty easy to do, actually. All right, there's another thing I want to do also for this episode. I want to make it so that as soon as you start clicking a button to go to the to a certain side, it'll um, it'll roll immediately, so you don't have to wait. It'll seem a little bit more natural, I think. All right, so we'll put that here. So let's write some comment here. Update roll if button just clicked. All right, we should actually write a comment here just to explain it so that if we have to come back, we can understand it a little bit better. Update roll to make it go back to center. Okay, so if gdx.input.isGDX dot is 
key just pressed. He's on the left. And oh, okay. GDX loud input dot is key pressed. All right, so I'll explain this. So basically, what we're checking, we're checking if the left key was just pressed. So here in this if statement, we're just checking if the left key, left key is being pressed at the current moment. But this is if it's just, just been pressed uh, before this frame played. So we want to check if the person just pressed the left key. All right, so if that's true, and they're not pressing the right key also so and they're not pressing the key to go to the right then we can update the role so first we can reset it so it zero and then you can subtract actually just to make it even simpler uh, and roll is more than zero. Oops. Be careful with the brackets. Uh, less than zero. Less than or equal to zero. <laughs> okay. Um, I was going to do like here, just to make sure it doesn't go out of bounds. But I thought, hey, you know what? Might as well make the code a little bit cleaner and just check here uh, if it is already at zero the lowest point it can possibly be all the way to the left we could actually do that in other places as well uh, here I'll do that here also and roll so I send it equal to zero I'm doing less than or equal but I can always just do uh, equals because we know that it's not going to go lower than zero Um, yeah, so we know, but you know, it's just, just in case, it's just because it makes more sense logically to write out the whole equation, because that's what we're trying to do anyways. Okay, so we can just clean that up. It cleans the code up a little bit. All right, let's run it just to make sure we did everything properly. Okay, looks like I did something wrong here. I'll be right back while I fix it. Ah, very easy mistake to do. Uh, we're not using the same condition, we're actually using the opposite condition. So if roll is more, I already fixed this one. Basically, it's because this in this case, we only want to roll left if there is at least one place left to roll to. So if roll is more than zero, that means they can still roll, roll to the zero position. So then they can roll to zero. But if it is zero or less than zero, then obviously you don't want to roll more than that. All right, so that should be good now. There you go. So as you can see, if you click it, it'll roll automatically. Also, by default, you can kind of kind of play around with it. You can get your ship to to stay in a certain position like that if you want. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I might make the roll timer a little higher though, because it just looks a little bit weird. It's a little too fast, I think. All right, there you go. Well, that ends off today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. 
so you can keep up to date with all the new tutorials. They come out every week on Saturday. And also I have devlogs for a game I'm working on uh, with a group of other people. And I do uh, devlogs for those uh, for that game every Wednesday. So be sure to check those out also. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.